This is Russell Hawley, the education specialist here at the Tate Geological Museum. And what you're looking at here is Wyoming's largest predatory dinosaur. I'm talking, of course, about Tyrannosaurus rex. I've been taking dinosaur popularity surveys since 1986, and Tyrannosaurus rex has always remained at the number one spot, most popular dinosaur. And although it was first discovered uh, back in 1908 or thereabouts, it uh, remains the uh, largest predatory dinosaur that's known from a complete skeleton. The um, Carcharodontosaurus and Spinosaurus in North Africa and Giganotosaurus from South America seem to have been a bit bigger than Tyrannosaurus rex, but none of them are known from skeletons that are complete. So of all the large predatory dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex is the best understood. It was a biped walking and running on its hind legs and the forelimbs, the arms, were on this elephant-sized animal, which probably weighed around six and a half tons, of arms were only the size of my arms, not big enough to reach out and grab a struggling prey animal. They probably weren't used for much of anything. The Trinosaurus rex concentrated all of the killing power in its head. In an adult Trinosaurus rex, that skull could be the size of a trash can. There's the eye socket right there, ant orbital fenestra there, and then there's the nostril opening right there. Now, Trinosaurus rexes, although they've been found in Wyoming for many years, uh, the overwhelming majority of them have been exported out of state to uh, museums, mostly in the eastern part of the country. One Tyrannosaurus rex found in Wyoming is actually going to stay in Wyoming, and he's right here in front of me. It's Lee Rex, and that's a story for another day.